In 1936, Franklin Roosevelt was re-elected with a larger share of the vote than any president in over a hundred years. Judged on this fact alone, clearly the New Deal had made a profound impact on the American people. But what impact was it making on the Depression? Unemployment still stood at 9 million, creeping back to 10 million by 1938. It seemed, despite the vast expense of the New Deal, it was failing to kickstart the stagnant economy. And already, an anti-New Deal backlash had begun. Congressmen representing the individual states had begun to question whether the New Deal didn't give central government too much power. They feared the New Deal threatened age-old American principles of free trade and competition. The Supreme Court ruled on aspects of New Deal policy and judged it unconstitutional. One of the most controversial of the New Deal agencies operated west of Asheville over the Appalachian Mountains in Tennessee. Here, the Tennessee Valley Authority, formed in 1933, was spending vast amounts of public money building a series of massive dams, controlling the turbulent Tennessee River and ending years of flooding and topsoil erosion. For its supporters, like Lorena Hickok, the sheer scale of the TVA was electrifying. I tell you, what's happening there, it's like a promised land, bathed in golden sunlight, rising out of the gray shadows of want and squalor. I mean, the Tennessee Valley was about the poorest region in the nation. But you go there now, you'll see tens of thousands of men building in timber and steel and concrete. I didn't know much about it before I went, but I spent about a week driving around. I saw the Norris Dam near Knoxville, and then I went down south to the Wilson Dam in Alabama, and then about 20 miles on up the river to where the workmen were drilling in rock to lay the foundations of the Wheeler Dam. And the whole thing was so exciting. It was like the adventure stories I used to read as a child. I mean, you're probably thinking, oh, Lorena, come down to earth. But that's the way the Tennessee Valley affects one these days. The TVA was controversial because never before had the federal government wielded so much influence within one state. When the dams were finished, the TVA used the power of the river to provide cheap electricity, not just for Tennessee, but for parts of Kentucky, Virginia, North Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, a federal monopoly elbowing aside private competition. Meanwhile, the TVA dabbled in every aspect of local life, transforming the lives of local people in a way that seemed almost socialist. When they're not building, they're studying, farming, trades, the art of living, preparing themselves for the fuller lives they'll lead when the building work is done. It's as if TVA is more than a federal agency, it's an empire. You know, and its potential is so extraordinary that it makes one gasp. Decent housing, decent wages, a new kind of industrial life, and all because the government is in control. I mean, gosh, what possibilities?